here we have our aquaculture project which started about a year ago we are rearing red tilapia we improved our project with a hydroponic system at the top so now we have a combination system called aquaponics this is our 4-H club sweet hands 4-H club of Todd's Road RC school and they have been doing a tremendous job of maintaining the tanks feeding the fish and assisting with cleaning the system here we have RJ Balkisun, the president of our club. He will tell us a little bit about our aquaponics system. Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture and hydroponics in which the waste produced by farm fish or other aquatic creatures supplies nutrients to plants grown hydroponically, which in turn purify the water. In our system, the nitrogen waste from the tilapia provides the celery with its nutrients. What is Aquaculture by Antonio Maru and Alex Ramkisun? Aquaculture is also known as fish or shellfish farming. It refers to breeding, rearing, harvesting of plants and animals in all types of water environments, including ponds, lakes, rivers, and oceans. At our school, we are rearing the red tilapia. Here we have Naomi Keterson and Shakira Diaz who will tell us a little bit about hydroponics. Hydroponics is growing plants with nutrients and water without using soil. Water must be delivered to the plant root system. We are currently growing celery in our barrels. So part of our project is hydroponics. So we have our celery here and we have to remove the soil before we place them in the barrels. What are we going to do with the celery? We are going no, to wash it out. So they gently remove the soil. Brianna and Nathaniel will tell us a little bit about the tilapia food. The tilapia, we feed the tilapia and tilapia pellets. They are fed twice a day, mornings and evenings. We are able to feed them during the week. On holidays and weekends, we are lucky to have our security guards to feed them for us. Come to the stand. Chelsea Spencer will tell us a little bit about the tilapia. There are 44 different species of tilapia. 
at the sugar cane feed center there are two varieties of tilapia the red tilapia and the silver tilapia we are wearing the red tilapia tilapia is fast becoming the most frequently consumed seafood it is currently the fourth most popular fish behind salmon tuna and pollock Rihanna Sinanan and Shakira Mohammed will tell us a little bit about the submersible pump which we use in our system. The submersible pump pumps the water from the fish tank into the half a barrels above. The heavy waste is trapped onto the filter plus and the nutrient rich water feeds the plant. The plant uses nitrogen from the fisheries as a plant as a nutrient source. The clean water then flows into the tank. When it falls back into the tank, erosion occurs and oxygen is provided by the bubbles created. So let's have a look at that. We can see bubbles, water falling back, the pump pumping the water up. We have it falling on the filter floss. The use of the UV light will be explained by Vikash Suraj Bali and Amar Tularam. The UV light, which is an ultraviolet light, destroys the algae. The UV light has a built in pump which pulls the water up over the light which kills the algae. The clean water then flows out again. This is important so that the algae would not compete with the fish for oxygen. Remember that this too must be taken out for weekly cleaning. Okay, so here we have Amar who has taken out the UV light. So every week we need to open it up and wash it. Comes with suction cups so it sticks onto the side of the tank. Okay, Amar, you can put it back in. She will tell us about the filter floss. The filter floss must be taken out occasionally for cleaning. This is done twice a week to, re to remove the heavy waste that is deposited on it by the fishes. We have to remove the polyfill from the barrels every other day so that it can be washed. So we have Ricardo here who is going to wash out the polyfill, which has a lot of waste, heavy waste trapped in it. simple method of just spraying out the dirt from it. When it is clean, you can replace it. Here we have Amar who is replacing the polyfill that has been cleaned going under the water flow so the waste water that has been pumped up will fall on that and the heavy waste will stay in the polyfill and you can see some of our celery in our barrels 